afternoon to Canberra. It's about 167 kilometres, about 1,400 metres of elevation. It's going to be a fairly tough day, but at the moment the rain is holding off and that is good news. Look, the reason we're doing this ride is to raise money. We've already raised $2 million this year. We're hoping to raise a further one to give to people that make a real difference with cancer. And one of those people is Dr. Chuck Bailey, who's a guest writer yesterday and today on the tour, but more importantly, you're a molecular biologist for the Centenary Institute in Sydney. I'm so glad I got that out. <laughs> what, what, how did you start a relationship with the Tour de Cure? Uh, about three years ago, I uh, did a one day ride with Tour de Cure, and I really loved that and being able to, to ride with, with people who want to do it, make a difference for cancer research and support and prevention and I wanted to be part of the community and I, I, I commute to work so I love riding and I love my job as a cancer researcher. And so in your cancer research what are you doing at the moment? Uh, I'm working on uh, leukaemia so acute lymphoblastic leukaemia and uh, chronic myeloid leukaemia in trying to understand the disease so then we can develop treatments for that. And last night uh, at, at our big dinner presentation uh, we donated, or the Tour de Cure donated a machine that's going to help you in your research. Uh, I'm not very good at explaining what these scientific things are, but yeah. if you can explain in layman's terms what that machine does and how it's going to help. This machine is a, um, a benchtop personalised genomic machine, so it's able to sequence uh, a, a, a cancer cell's DNA and then enable us to target um, cancer genes that we want to determine for better, you know, so we can treat the cancer. Um, that, you, that a person may have. And there are so many people watching this morning who have just got the news that themselves or someone they know has cancer. In the fight against cancer, from someone who's at the coal phase, how are we going? Uh, there have been tremendous advances over you know, the last 10, 20 years, and cancer is becoming more, tr cancer treatment is becoming more personalised. Now we'll be able to take a biopsy of your cancer, determine the genetic sequence of it, and then work out which is the best treatment for you. And that will mean better treatment outcomes for for patients. Well, it's such it's so wonderful to hear that news. It's so great to have you riding with us. And I guess we hear so many tough stories about cancer. It's it's really great to hear that the fight against cancer <laughs> is being fought, and in so, in so many areas it is being won. And and we're just doing our best to help the people that really know what to do <laughs> uh, to do what they do best. Uh, so Chuck, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you, James. And good luck today. Stay away, Rain. Let's have a look.